Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah, this video is for the iCar program and the right way to fill the form. So for arranging uh, the visits for the hospital, uh, it should be scheduled in the first five months of each half. Um, arranging uh, the visits so that uh, each month it covers a fifth of the total of hospitals in the region with different categories MOH, non-MOH and private. Uh, the arrangement of uh, the visits in the first half uh, should be different than the second half, meaning if uh, hospital X uh, is covered in the first month of the first half, it should be uh, covered in the second or third uh, months of the second half. Also, for the auditors, uh, they uh, should be different. Uh, um, so if the uh, auditor is visiting uh, a hospital in the first half uh, this hospital should be visited by other uh, or different uh, auditor in the second half so to fill the form go to this site www.gdibc-forms.com enter your username and your password once you're logged in you can change the language from here and also you can change uh, your password from uh, profile if you forgot your password, just press you forgot it and you one will be sent to your email. Uh, go to programs and then uh, press uh, ICAM. Here uh, it will take you to your region by default. Just choose uh, the name of the hospital that you want uh, to fill the form for. And then choose is it the first or the second half. Uh, create and then go uh, here and write the name of the uh, hospital infection control director. You must write the correct email here for the infection control director because the form, once you fill it and submit it, it will go to this email. Then write their mobile number. Here by default, it's going to show your name and your email. Just write your mobile number. So as we said, uh, each visit should be conducted by two auditors. Uh, they should visit all the departments of the hospital together. So here, add the second uh, auditor, his uh, or her information, and then um, uh, you should specify how many days did you do the visit in. Is it one or two days? Uh, also, as we mentioned, that the hospitals above 200 should be conducted in two uh, working days. Press next, it will take you to the uh, ICA form. Uh, here, um, uh, this uh, show you the information, uh, what we mean by critical, what we mean by uh, activities, OSI, and so on. Here, the facility information. So, uh, to fill the form, um, the score, it, some of the substandard will show you uh, 2, 3, or uh, 4 score. Uh, fully compliant, partially, non-compliant, and not applicable. If you choose fully compliant and not uh, applicable, you don't have to write a comment here. But if you choose partially compliant and non-compliant, you must write a comment here. It shouldn't exceed 255 letters. Uh, some of the standards to make it easier for you. For example, if it's a department like the endoscopy, uh, dental, um, uh, the first substandard when you choose it, um, uh, by uh, not applicable, the rest of the substandard uh, it will show not applicable. This way, it's gonna make it it's to to make it easier for you. Here, the reset button. If uh, you're not satisfied or um, you um, put it wrongly and you want to raise everything, just press reset. And uh, here, the save and continue. If you fill a part of part of your form and then you want to complete it uh, in another time just press save and continue here the submit button when you are uh, satisfied with your form and everything is uh, completed just press the submit button uh, here it will uh, show you that some of the um, uh, fields is not uh, filled uh, and it will show you uh, add a comment in red so you will know in which substandard it's uh, um, you didn't cover it. Uh, 
and then uh, when uh, everything is uh, filled properly and then you submit it uh, this form will go uh, to the email that you have uh, written for the infection control director in the first page uh, that's why uh, we said that you uh, have to write it uh, correctly uh, so this form, uh, you should uh, fill it within 72 hours from your visit. Uh, once you, uh, you press submit, uh, contact uh, your infection, uh, the infection control uh, director of the hospital to make sure that the form they have received it. In that email, they will receive also an Excel form with uh, the action plan that they have to fill. So they have to fill this action plan within seven working days. Then uh, they will send it back to you to revise it and then uh, approve it. Uh, and then send it back to the hospital so that they can start their implementation. Also, um, you must uh, follow the implementation of uh, this action plan. Uh, this form, if you want to do download it, just go to ICANN and then uh, go to the hospital that you have filled uh, the form for and then uh, just press the create, it will take you this to this um, page, uh, just press uh, download and then you will download it as an Excel form. Uh, within the future, inshallah, uh, in the archive, it will have the same thing. All the forms um, uh, for all the hospitals will be here. And uh, we're going to try to uh, make a dashboard for uh, this uh, program. Uh, if you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us, uh, the GDIBC uh, team. Thank you very much.